Hey guys, today I'm going to do something really different for the channel. So if you guys follow our vlogs, I bought a Jeep Wrangler, 2014 Jeep Wrangler, and I wanted to do a lot of mods to it. So today I'm going to pick my own ride, I'm going to show you guys what I do. And I hope you guys enjoyed this, don't forget to hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, enjoy it. I'm going to try to make it as cool and as informative as I can. So you want to be a player, but your wheels ain't fly. You got to hit us up to get a pimped out ride. You've got to pimp my ride. Damn right. On today's video, I'm going to show you guys a few things. I'm going to show you guys how to change the grill. I'm going to update my front grill, like this one here, to a Spartan grill. I'm going to also change my rear tail lights that have the standard tail lights and I've bought LED tail lights. So I'm going to show you guys how to change that. I'm going to add a aftermarket petrol cap cover because the standard petrol cap, you need to put a key in it and turn it. I want to actually have a flat and then put the key and turn it just so it looks a bit different. One of the things that I would like to change is the grill, as you guys can see here. I've actually bought a new grill. It's called a Spartan grill. I actually bought a grill prior to this, the Angry Bird grill, and I really didn't like it that much. So I'm going to give it a whole new different look and I'll show you guys step by step how to actually take off this grill and replace it with a brand new grill. First you need your brand new front grill. This is a Spartan grill as I told you guys. I just bought this off a local eBay. I will link it down below. It just gives it a very aggressive look and gets rid of this traditional sort of Jeep style look. The things you should get in the box is some new clips for the grill to clip onto the stock position and also a water protector. It just goes on top of the grill so water doesn't actually come through. And it's just stuck on by double-sided tape as you guys can see here, it runs through there. And these clips here go on the back of the grill. I'll show you guys. It goes onto these spots here. And these clip directly into your car. Also, as you guys can see, see this X spot here. This is an aligner piece and it just in lines with the car and makes it very, very easy to put the grill back on. So to remove the front grill, all you really need is a flathead screwdriver like this. As you guys can see here, this bolt right, these bolts right here, they're not even bolts, they're plastic rivet, pop rivet bolts, I would call them. There's one here, two, three, four, five, Six. And they're the only things you need to take out to actually remove this whole grill. The first thing you need to do is just pop it, put this flat head in there, push it up so it goes up like this, and you can just pull it out, comes out like that, and this should just come out with it. And that's all you need to do. Once you guys have taken out all the bolts, this is what you need to do. I'll show you guys real quick. So you just pull on it, and all the clips start to pop out and you hear this popping sound. Just like that. And there you have it. If you guys remember that little X bolt that I was, X piece that I was talking about, it goes into this hole here and it lines everything and makes it easier for you. And as you guys can see on the stock grill, these things get replaced with the brand new ones on your new grill. But also don't forget, don't pull it towards you too hard because the indicators are still connected. And to remove the indicators, all you need to do is I think turn counterclockwise and they just come out just like that. Now the next thing you need to do is actually remove the indicators. So the indicators are still plugged into, not plugged into, but clipped into the front grill as you guys can see. All you need to do is there's two clips on this each side, like pressure clips. You push them in. Let's see if I can do it with one hand. And it comes out just like that as you guys can see I'm done putting the indicators back on I put the clips back on so this cross here <clears throat> sorry it's went all croaky this cross here needs to go into this hole here and it makes everything else super easy to put in so you want to clip all these in first and then everything else should just fit perfectly after a bit of a struggle you guys can see how aggressive it looks. It looks so much better now. Really, really like this grill. Next thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna change these stock tail lights. 
and I've got some new LED blacked out tail lights and they're gonna look so much better than these ones. As you guys can see, there's only four bolts. One, two, three, four. And they're just Phillips head screwdrivers and you just take it out. These are the new tail lights that I actually purchased. I purchased them through the same eBay. -er. As you guys can see, they're all LEDs. This is stop light, turning signal, reverse light. I think this is another stop light and it's gonna look really, really good. This comes out like this. You'll have the plug here, or you could do is unclip the plug. So the plug's like here. All you could do is unplug it. Just like that. Just plug in the new tail light, just like so. That's it. As you guys can see, it looks so much better already. So the next thing that I wanna do is replace this. So as you guys can see, it's very exposed. All you need to do is put a key in there, and you turn it, and it opens. I bought a flap for it, so it opens like this, and just gives it a better look. This is the flap that I bought. So it looks like so. And it's actually made out of steel. It's not plastic, it's actually really hard steel. I bought this off the same eBay. -er. I'll put the links below. So I just assume this will just sit like this and then the flap will somehow sit up top. I'm not a trained mechanic or anything like that. I just like doing everything myself. So I hope, I hope this helps you guys out. There's some instructions here. I'm gonna give it a quick read and I'll show you guys how I do it. So just quickly, reading the instructions, I have to just have to remove the towel light and stick my hand through and take something off from the inside. I just put these towel lights on as well. So annoying. This gives you guys a better view. So this bit here is where the petrol goes into and this is the flap. I'm gonna start removing it and somehow show you guys the best view of doing it. There are two clips in the inside of this to make this come out. So what you need to do is push a clip in here. Yep, there's one pop. There's the next pop. And you just pull forward. And when you take this part off, you just gotta remove it around because this bit's just rubber and then the hose should just come straight out. What it actually doesn't tell you on the instructions and I would like to keep, there's that rubber ring that I was telling you guys about. I would like to keep that and put it through here to give it a better connection not a connection but it just makes it more tight that sounds so wrong but you guys understand what I mean what I didn't notice is there's a little pin slot here that should go through to this hole and it makes it so much easier but the weird thing is there's two of them but I've only got one hole to put it into far out when you have two sticks and only one hole Can't see one anyone else, anyone else, anywhere else. So I'm just gonna break this stick off. Oh, that came off really easily. And just pop it through. Yep. Oh, just did that with one hand. Rule of thumb, guys, if you ever put screws in, always um hand screw them in first so you get the screws in line. Pretty much all done now. I just need to put the stock cap back on. <laughs> I really have problems with putting things in holes. So this seems way too big for this little hole in here, if you guys can see. That little hole in there is way too big for this. Thanks for watching guys. That's the end of my own Pimp My Ride Do It By Yourself. Look how dirty my hands are. But, it's all done. I hope you guys really enjoyed this video. Give it a big thumbs up. We're gonna be trying to do different things on our channel every single time. So there's gonna be more sneaker reviews, more DIYs, more everything. Leave comments below if you guys wanna know anything more or what else I have done to the Jeep or what else I'm going to do to the Jeep. Bye, peace. Thanks for watching our video guys. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button, hit the like button. It looks like this.
you guys don't know what it looks like. The subscribe button will be under here, anywhere around here. Just click anywhere around here. And if you haven't watched our previous video, our vi previous video will be over here. Look, she's so intrigued, she's so funny. She always misses out things like this. So she will just stand here the whole time. She's fine standing here. I just want to go out. Oh, look. Is 